Hey guys, how's it going? I'm hoping that we get into a game against the Italian. Or, well, no, actually, the Rui Lopez is what I just studied the other day. I completely forgot already. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. Huh, well, we're going to ignore that. He might just come out and attack me. That's okay if he does. What? Don't know what this is, but just in case it's a slow opening where he pushes a bunch of pawns on the side, I'm going to bring this guy out to c3, and that's going to support moving into the center. Taking e4. Okay, we're just going to drop on back. Not what I expected. But that's okay. That is okay. So now I can play h, h4. Especially if he pushes this pawn, I have to, because otherwise he traps my bishop, right? Ooh, this is a slow kind of opening. What I what I really want to do here is castle queen side. Let's see. Can I push this right now? Push the pawn, takes, takes, knight has to move, or queen trade. I've got my rook on the open file. And then at the end, he would drop this pawn. So, let's play through this again real quick, guys. Push the pawn. Takes, takes, queen, rook, right? Oh, then he can just push, he can just push the pawn. So it doesn't actually win anything. What's he planning here, though? Hmm. Um, I can't bring my bishop out, that's for sure. Um, let's just castle. Queens, we're gonna castle queenside, I think. Unless he pushes this pawn right now. Then I'm, yeah, okay. We're not gonna castle into that, right? Oh, so what do I do here? Just bring my rook over? That looks ridiculous. But I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, there's no point castling into that with his pawn so advanced, at least as far as I know. Dude, what is going on here? Should I jump out to here? Jump out to here, who cares? Now I'm gonna push this pawn. Oh my gosh. Well, I can take this pawn. Does that give me anything? Take this pawn. Not really. Not really, guys. Um, let's just grab this pawn, I get I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here now. This is new territory. So this was not a good move. Or actually, maybe this was not a good move. Okay.
So I would like to give a check. If I put my... Oh, well, that's not happening. Whatever. I don't know. I, I'm... I'm lost here, guys. I, I don't know what's going on. I obviously messed up. Messed up pretty badly. My only hope now is a blunder for my opponent. That's it's not a fun way to play chess. You don't want to just be hoping for blunders. But I guess that's what happened to my opponent. I blundered. This move was probably not smart. Probably not smart. Ah, it's a, such a shame. I just didn't want to castle into those advancing pawns. But now look at my ridiculous pieces. This is complete garbage. Okay, I need to get this bishop somewhere. Where do I put him? I guess over here. I mean, as crazy as that looks, do I have anything better? Nope, I sure don't. Huh. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Queen to here. That's, no, that's dumb. Huh. <sighs> Let's see, he might come back here. Um, I've got a, let, let's defend, let's defend our pawn and take away that square from the knight. So that's a bad knight. <laughs> that's for sure. That's a bad knight. At least we've got that, right? Oh, brother. This is not good. Um, okay. Queen to here. Attack the king somehow. Or, or actually get my queen in front of the bishop and it's checkmate. But obviously he's not going to let that happen. Hmm. If I could get his... Hold on a second, guys. Bishop here. <laughs> it's like a Greek gift where I don't even win a pawn. King takes... Queen takes this pawn, because guess what, guys? This pawn is pinned. Now that looks really promising. So bishop here, king takes, queen takes this pawn, and I'm hitting this bishop, too. But he could just take my rook. Um, yeah, that's a little, that's a little too scary. Let's, let's go in here and just block this. Now, let's, let's think about it. This looks pretty promising. Bishop here, king takes. Queen takes this pawn. And now if we trade off the bishops, I, I can, what can I do? Oh, it's risky. It's risky. Bishop here. King takes. Knight takes with check. Bishop moves back. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't see it. So I have a chance to on passant here, but what's the point of that, right? Bishop here, king takes, queen takes this pawn. Oh. If the king moves back to this square, I can take this pawn because this bishop is king is pinned. Um. Should we go for it just to give it a shot? I mean, what else do we have to do, right? It's like the Greek gift, except I don't win a pawn right away. Bishop here. What if he just goes in the corner, though? Then I take... Uh, I'm going to give it a try. I don't know. Or, 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 or. Rook takes pawn. How about rook? How about knight takes pawn? Let's look at this guy's knight takes pawn. Oh, he's got his queen there too. Oh my gosh. That's why he did this. He... Oh my god, this guy is so good. All right. Well, I've got no chance in this game if he's think if he thought of that, if that's why he played that, I have basically zero chance in this game. So guys, suddenly the queen is guarding this pawn. My whole plan fell apart. Is that what he just did? Are you kidding me right now? Well, I mean, seriously, guys, what chance do I have? Um, let's see. How about we just bring our knight over? Knight to here, knight to here. It doesn't do anything. I don't know. Um, should we just castle and forget it? I mean, I don't think he can really attack down here. Let's see, if I take on Passant, what does that do? He takes, he has his rook opened up. Ugh, this is just awful. Hmm. Guys, I feel like people have gotten a lot better at chess in the last month. <laughs> at least compared to me. What happened to me, I wonder? Have I gotten worse or did other people get better? It's obviously I got worse, but I don't really see why. Maybe I'm um, being too experimental with my opening. Because I used to have like a 60% win rate with the London. And in the last week, I think I have a 30% win rate. I don't know what's going on. Knight here, knight here. It's just bringing the knight into the game, which can't be bad, right? If I go here and he pushes, I just take... He's going to put his rook here and push, and then that's a, that's a nice fork. <sighs> Let's look at this one more time. Bishop here, king takes, and yeah, I cannot take this anymore. I can take with the knight. But so what? Yeah, so what? I take with the knight, okay. Queen here. Then I can give him the check. Force the king to the corner. But what does that do? What's the point of this? Uh, 
Um, yeah, I really, I don't know what to do. I actually want to move my king up so I can get my rooks stacked up here. Should we do that? Queen here, bishop here. If takes, then I take... And I can bring my rook in because the bishop is pinned. But he would just move his rook here attacking me. Doesn't work. Yeah, I don't really know what to do in this position. So, with that being said, let's just cast Lawn out of here. Who cares? I, I don't think he can really come down this side of the board too easily. Right? Now, if he puts his rook over here, I can blockade this pawn with my bishop. Or I can just move my rook out of the way, get out of the pin, and I would just take. If he pushes, I take. No problem. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep it simple, guys. Okay, so he's going to stack, it looks like. We'll go up here. Okay. Hmm. Now what? Bring my knight over. Knight here, knight here. And then that's, I mean, what else can I do? Rook up to here. What does that do? Okay, he wants to win that pawn or something. I can put my bishop here, which blockades this guy. And defends that pawn. Does that seem reasonable? Go here, blockade, defend. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I could also just put my king up here and then bring my rook around. That's probably a better idea anyway. That would have been smarter. But I like blockading this pawn. Although it would be better to do it with my knight. Oh, brother. King here, rook here. I mean, it doesn't do anything. That's the problem. Um... Let's threaten this check. I mean, I can actually threaten the check, force the king to go here. Then I can put my rook here and this pawn is pinned. And then maybe I can somehow take this pawn. All right, that's my goal. Give him check.
Hey, I can bring my knight here and here now, hitting the queen. That cuts off my bishop. Or I bring my rook up and go here. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm going to bring bring this guy over and hit the queen. Hit the queen. This was probably not smart. <laughs> probably not smart. Hmm, but that might have really not been smart. Well, hold on. If I attack, he can put his queen right here. This knight is pinned because my queen is undefended. He goes here. Oh, this is complete garbage. And then if I take this knight, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, he, he has this attack. Yeah, I'm just losing, guys. What can I say? Let's see, if I jump here, he takes with the queen probably. Go for it. Whatever. Now I can jump my knight somewhere and take that pawn with my queen. So that's at least something. Right? Put our king up here to add a second defender. And maybe even bring a rook over, for all I know. The queen only has one square, which is that. So I wonder if there's something I can do to attack the queen. Knight back to here, discovered attack on the pawn, and the queen can't go there, but can go here once the knight moves. No fear from this guy, huh? Oh, he's stacking. He's stacking. This dude. Um... Jump back here. Now I can put a rook here to add a third defender to this pawn. If I need to. I can also just take that pawn and probably get checkmated.
So, if I put a rook here, he can't take. Because, okay, yeah, you are going to win. I mean, you're going to... If I take this pawn and he takes, that's check. I go here. Then what does he do? But what do I do? Um, yeah, let's just defend the pawn because I don't totally understand this situation. You know what I mean? Tricky, tricky. Material is even, but I feel like I'm losing. But it's not entirely obvious that I'm losing. Not entirely. He does have this pawn hanging. <laughs> right? Okay, so if I take, then he gets his pawn out here. But what if I take this guy? If I take this pawn... I don't want to take because he's going to get this passed pawn, and then I'm just in a lot of trouble, I think, right? If he takes my queen and I take with my rook, I'm still defending this pawn. That's actually no big deal. This pawn is hanging. Um, now, I could grab this pawn. Because he no longer has three attackers on this pawn. But he's going to scoop up this and then this. If I take... What does that get me? Everything's defended. It gets me nothing because I stupidly made him move his king to the corner. If, I, if his king was still here, taking this pawn would pin the bishop. Then I could win this pawn somehow. All right, so if I just put my queen here, I'm still defending everything. I'm blocking this, but I still don't want to take him. I, I could put my queen here. That defends this pawn and this pawn. Keeps pressure on that guy. I could also just push this pawn. We get connect four, which is nice. I would like to take that pawn because then I can jump my knight in here, guys. Hold on. Take the pawn. Let's say he takes my pawn. I jump my knight in here. Where does this bishop go? So I take this pawn. He takes this pawn, let's say. I jump here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's entirely unclear. But you know what? I'm going to go for it. Let's just do it. Who cares? Then we're going to jump here.
I could also jump my knight right in here. Wait a minute. Why didn't I do that right now? <laughs> Just jump right here. Forking. Well, that wouldn't really accomplish that much. But I could do it now. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I have this as a move. Forking queen and okay he he takes the pawn so if i jump here i'm hitting that guy and that pawn i like that actually better hold on though if i go here he takes this pawn i take he takes i take he blocks with his rook. Then I take this pawn. I could also quickly just put my rook here and hit his queen. But then he steps up to here and has a triple attack on that pawn. So let's go for this. We're going to just jump in here. And let's see, I take, let's say I take the bishop, he takes, I take the pawn, he moves his king here, now I can't take this pawn. And my queen is kind of, well no, I would go here, that's a check. So if I take the pawn... I'm hitting the rook. He kind of has to take. Then I take the bishop with check. So he has to block, and then I can take this pawn. So that works out better. So I am going to take the pawn. Ooh, then I can bring this rook over here. Ooh. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good for me, guys. <clears throat> He's not scared at all. Okay, so we're going for it. We're going to take this pawn... We got a check. Now I can take this pawn. Now what can I do? I can go here. <laughs> no, I can't. I can attack his rook. Let's attack. Hold on. If we bring our rook here, and he takes, then my king takes, he can come down here, and that's almost checkmate. Oh, yeah, he would actually win that rook. No, 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 the rook wouldn't be there. I can defend that pawn. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm going to go for it just because, like, what else am I going to do, right? I'm, I'm probably losing this game otherwise. Maybe I can get a perpetual here. Check. King goes here. <laughs> Check. Is that the best I can do, though? Well, we'll think about it when we get there. He gives me a check. I just go here. He takes the pawn. 
Okay. So I think we have a perpetual here. Now, is there anything better? Um, no, I'm just going to do a repetition. I don't care. Yeah, I was probably losing that game. Let's check the game review. I feel like I was losing like crazy. Probably down, I don't know, minus 10 or something at one point. Mm, okay, so I was losing minus 5, but I was also winning a couple times. That's interesting. Um, queen move was bad. Rook move was bad. Yeah. This was just not a good game. Like, I didn't know what I was doing, but that's okay. Um, this is still pretty even, so it's not terrible. Like, even though I've played a lot of bad moves. Here, I thought I was losing already. What? That's the best move? Oh, and then, yeah, I should have lifted the king and brought the rook over. I can't believe I'm winning here. I don't even believe this. I should have brought the rook over. Now, if he takes the pawn... I take, and I don't know, what if he does this? Um, well, I'm going to have a discovered check, so I probably go like this. And then he moves, and that's mate. Oh, my gosh. Oh, guys, I was so close. I was so close. I, I just had to bring the rook over first. He hung a rook with mate. Oh no, how did I miss that? Oh god. Guys, how did I miss that? And then I bring this over, and how does he stop that? He plays rook e7, giving himself an escape square. I give him a check. He's got one square. I give him... See, I wouldn't have found all these moves. King g8. No, king g8. And then we do a g6 check. Like, come on. I, yeah, I'm not going to find all these. Wait, what? I thought queen g6 check was the best move. Yeah, it is. And then he's going to block. And what do we do? Queen e6 check. Oh, man, guys, that's painful. It was so close. It came down to this one move. Oh, that's so sad. I can't believe I missed this mate in one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just was tunnel visioned on that plan. Remember? I said this plan. I was like, I was like oh, if I take with the knight first, I take the pawn, then he takes, I take, and I win a pawn. I, I just completely stopped thinking about it. Man, oh man. So here, draw is best because I was completely losing. Now he just needed to, yeah, he was going to win my rook, remember? So he had to go here, force move. He comes up, and that is a fork, and I'm, lo I'm down a rook. Oh, wow. Terrible game, but also a good game. Guys, 
I'm gonna put, let's see. We're gonna put, I'm just gonna put the mate in one puzzle in the description because I can't believe I missed that right here. What move is it? What move is this? We're on move 32. My opponent blunders mate in one and I missed it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.